Hello all of you. So here is a quick guide to CB2. It consists of 23 chapters which can be divided into three parts. The first part consists of the entire micro portion which is demand, supply and then there are different market structures like perfect competition, monopoly, oligopoly um, and so on. Uh, it, pricing strategies is also included. So some of the part you might have studied in your class 11 and 12 or in your college but a lot of it is different. The second part consists of the market failure and where the government intervenes, the macroeconomic objectives, international trade, balance of payments, uh, the money market. This is where the uh, macro portion uh, starts and uh, you get a lot of theory and a lot of graphs here as well. The third part consists of the different schools of economy like monetarist, Keynesian, classical approaches, supply side policy, demand side policy, exchange rate. So these are there in the third part. Third part is a little trickier and again consists of a lot of theory. So it is very important that you revise the entire content again and again for CB2 because you tend to forget a lot of different small small concepts. 39 marks will be MCQ. So this MCQ portion is again testing your concept uh, which is very again important if you are reading the content. Um, twice or thrice after you complete the syllabus once. So yes, this is the entire syllabus and thank you.